Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0, and today is day 14. So yesterday we covered two of the most impactful smart plans that Keller Williams has created for your business in the monthly neighborhood nurture and quarterly call plan. Today I wanted to review the remaining powerful Keller Williams smart plans that are available in our library as well. So let's go into the smart plans applet. And we're going to do a quick run through of those additional KW plans. So if we come into our library, again, remember these KW plans are here on the bottom, the second row underneath the Keller Williams section. So first off, you do have the bi-weekly neighborhood nurture. This is identical to the monthly neighborhood nurture, except that it sends out every 14 days versus every 30 days. The 8x8 eight eight new contact engagement, and remember anytime you want to see a plan, you can click on view steps. So this one sends out a text message, would love to grab coffee. Remember if you don't drink coffee, you could always change what that text message says once you've added it. It waits a week and then sends you a task to send them an email. Then it waits a week and sends you a task to call them. It waits a week, sends a text message. Now again, this is Twilio connected. It waits seven days and then it adds them to the monthly neighborhood nurture. So it's important that if you're going to use this eight by eight nurture campaign that you do have them assigned to a next door neighborhood or you have their address by day 28. Next, you've got another seven day delay. You're at, excuse me, seven day delay here. You're getting a task for another phone call, a seven day delay, a text message, a seven day delay, and then an email. So essentially eight by eight stands for eight touches over eight weeks. And you can see that when you come in, this is a 15 step plan that runs for 56 days and has eight touches. The quarterly call plan we talked about yesterday, midterm nurture, another follow-up plan. This one actually uses what we call dynamic texting. So you can see the first thing that it does is it adds them to the bi-weekly neighborhood nurture. So it's important to note that if you're going to use the midterm nurture, you do want to have your contacts address, such as are assigned to a neighborhood or manually assign them. Uh, so first step it does is adds them to the biweekly neighborhood nurture, which would fire that email. Then it waits 14 days. Then it asks you to make a call. Now remember, because it's biweekly neighborhood nurture, they're going to get another email the day you make the call as well, because this email is going out every two weeks. Then it's going to delay for two weeks and send a text message. And also remember, it's sending the email for the biweekly neighborhood nurture. Now here you're going to see this is what we call dynamic texting. The first time that this smart plan goes through, it'll send text number one. The second time it would be text number two and then the third time text number three. So you can see that the next step is to restart this smart plan. So it would go to Adam to the biweekly neighborhood nurture. That would already be done. They would still be getting an email. It would wait 14 days, tell you to call them, wait 14 days, send text number two, and then so on and so forth. So even though it says that this is a 29 day plan, it actually is longer than that. It's roughly a 90 day plan because it goes through this smart plan three times over. Next up, you've got the long-term nurture. So this one says it's 31 days, but you'll see we also use dynamic texting in this plan. So monthly neighborhood nurture, 10 days, make a call, wait 10 days, send a value email, wait 10 days, send a text, and then it's gonna repeat, and this one repeats five times. So 30 days in full, six times over, this is a 180 day smart plan, and essentially you would get six call tasks, six value email tasks, and then six text messages going out to the client. Next up, you've got a birthday smart plan. So as long as you have the contact's birthday, this smart plan will actually fire just prior to the contact's birthday as long as you have it in the contact record. And essentially this works back from that birth date that you have in the contact record. Six days, essentially, before the birthday, it's going to tell you to send them a handwritten note. Then it's going to wait four days. And then the day before their birthday, it'll remind you to call them. And then it'll wait a day. And then on the day of their birthday, it's going to remind you to send them a social post. And it'll send a text message. Now, this is a great case of a smart plan that you are going to want to make an edit to. 
Remember, your text messages are coming from the Twilio application. And when you use Twilio, you're using a number that is not your phone number. It is your business line that you have purchased. Most of your contacts are not going to have that number. So I would recommend editing this actual text message to say, happy birthday from Marty Miller with Keller Williams or whatever that may look like. Next up, we talked about the monthly neighborhood nurture. You've got an open house follow-up smart plan. This one is very impactful for your open house leads. You can put somebody on it as soon as they leave the open house, they'll immediately get a text message. The next day, it'll tell you to email them, wait two days, follow-up call, wait three days, it sends a text message. Waits four more days, reminds you to call them, waits three days and sends a text message. We're now about two weeks in. Waits four days, tells you to send them an email waits three days and then actually adds them to the long-term nurture, which we know is a six month plan. So this is roughly about a 30 day plan, 20 days you can see here, and then it's gonna add them to another 180 day plan. Finally, you've got the home anniversary smart plan. So this will also fire based upon you adding the home anniversary date for the contact in their contact record. This one is just a two step, it reminds you to send a gift or a card six days prior to their home anniversary. And then on the day of, it reminds you to give them a call. Finally, we do have a KW Consumer app that your consumers and contacts can use. This final smart plan helps you promote that actual app by sending an email, giving them the link to download, then it waits a day, sends a follow-up text message, waits three days, and then sends another follow-up text message. Both, the, uh, both text messages and the email will contain the app to your actual uh, KW consumer app so that your contacts can download that. Guys, that's it for the other eight very powerful and impactful smart plans that Keller Williams has created for your use. I would highly recommend that you use a mix of, if not all, of these powerful smart plans on your contacts. Obviously, you can't use all of them. We're not going to use bi-weekly and monthly neighborhood nurture. But you understand where I'm going there. Take some time, download these smart plans, explore them, feel free to make edits to some of the text messages so that they match how you speak, and then begin using them to the contacts that you uploaded to your contacts applet in our first week of the challenge. Guys, I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. As always, hope you're having a great day. Talk to you real soon.